Do you remember Mark Twain's apology? I didn't have time to write a short letter, so I wrote a long one instead. The one thing almost all of us wish we had more of is time. So the first rule of communicating with a broader audience is keep it short. You're looking for the happy medium between a dissertation and a tweet, for both presentations and for written pieces. But shorter also applies to the sentences and the words you choose. Because if you want to engage people who don't already know your subject, you need to use language they understand. Academics are trained to go deep, acknowledge all possibilities, and demonstrate their mastery through impenetrable prose. But words like these are eyes glaze over material for the general public. They make people outside your field feel stupid. Using five syllables when one or two would do doesn't help you change minds or influence behavior. Let's say you're writing a 750 word newspaper commentary. Start by typing at the top of the page, hi mom, unless of course your mother is an expert in your field, in which case hi dad will do. If you aim your commentary at a non-expert parent or an intelligent 15 year old, you've already vastly increased the size of your potential audience. For example, you could tell people that your research is investigating mechanisms to enhance equity within the pedagogical environment in order to reduce attrition rates. Or you could just tell them that your work is making classrooms fairer so fewer kids will drop out of school. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You spent years mastering that jargon. It tells people you have a PhD. And besides, it's more precise. Yes, yes, and yes. But save it for your colleagues and the academic journals. And another thing that will help you communicate with a lay audience, don't craft your sentences in the passive voice. It was determined. Subjects were observed. Starting a sentence this way makes you sound like a politician. Mistakes were made. People want to know who made the mistakes, who observed the results. Here's a useful tip. If you can insert the words by zombies into your sentence, it's passive and you can probably change it to make it livelier. To conclude, if you want to engage more people in the stuff you care about, aim for everyday words, shorter sentences, active verbs. And be sure to end your remarks or commentary before people have stopped listening or reading. For University Affairs, I'm Sherry Graydon of Informed Opinions.